And so tonight, y'all know our show came on. So let's get into this review of episode 5, um, season 10 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, The Petty Party. And so um, I'm watching. Y'all, where did Croy come from? Croy came in there like super stable. Why? I'm like, is that Croy? Why Croy at the party? So Croy was with, okay, so Croy back there with production or whatever. He had to have been so he could be with Kim. So that let me know right there why she was so turned. Because she knew Croy was there. She could finally say what she want to say, say how she feel, and she didn't have to be worried about being jumped on. Because I'm going to tell you something. Being the only white lady, I'm going to say it. I don't have no problem saying it. It don't matter if you wrong, if you right. If if you right. <clears throat> being the only white lady, you know, they subject to back you up in the corner like they did once before. They done done it. They did it. I'm going to say it. I don't have no problem with saying it. Um, and though Kim do, you know, contribute it, but anyway, moving on, um, Kim did egg her on. Now I know why she egged the on because Cora was there. But anyway, I'm going to tell you what I like about this whole situation. Kim doing to Kenya what Kenya has done to everybody else. This stuff Kenya been doing. Normally it's, it's Kenya that's acting like Kim is doing. Kenya can't take the heat, so she need to get out of the kitchen because what Kim doing, now she see how it feel when she doing everybody else like that. She don't like it. So, then she sitting over there at Nene's house like she running the show. Yes, she needs to be removed. Get her out of here. You need to be removed. <laughs> but anyway, Kenya still hit below the belt. I seen the tweet. I know the tweet was a joke. I'm so tired of people overreacting about everything. I have girls. We make jokes. We do stuff. My girls are older and they're they're grown. But Brielle is 18. People joke a certain kind of way. Now, I don't joke quite like that, but I know people, I have friends that do joke like that with their friends and I'm so Damn tired of people hopping on doggone social media, overreacting about every tweet made. Kim pipping her daughter out. Y'all motherfuckers know, and I'm going to say the word, y'all know the girl was damn playing. Get the hell out of here. I'm so sick of people. Y'all do be doing the most. The stuff y'all need to be over overreacting about, like the fact they sit up here on TV keep saying dick, that's what you need to be overreacting about. Tweeting Bravo, blowing they, blowing them up to get through to take the word off the TV. That's what you need to be overreacting about. That's why I be saying people, ugh. Anyway, moving on. Like I said, if I was in a group of people and if I was the only black person there, I would have my husband back there to the side with production too to have my back if I said something somebody didn't want because y'all ain't about to jump me. So... But Cynthia was right. Kenya was being quiet for the moment anyway. But she don't mess with Kim. And she's probably scared to say something to Kim because she's seen Croy big middle line back her ass standing back there about to run somebody over. But anyway, Kenya still was making faces the whole time Kim was there. And I know Kim had to see it. Everybody else saw it. If we saw it, Kim saw it. But anyway... Like I said in my last review, and I'm going to say it again, Kim does the uh, Kenya what Kenya do to everybody else. Now, uh, Kenya know how it feel, but um, Kenya better remember she want to have kids. And when she making come in about people's kids, because this ain't the first time she done come in about somebody's child, she better remember that she trying to have kids. And when she have kids, everything she doing to everybody else, everything that she's saying, all that's going to come back on her. Tenfold. So I don't want to see her on social media and her feelings crying and carrying on. Talking about it's an innocent child. I tried so hard for this baby. Y'all know my ex old as hell. And y'all cannot be talking about me or my child in that manner. 
I ain't trying to hear. I don't have no um sympathy for. But anyway, I like Porsche and Kim together. Um, Porsche Kim and Sheree together. They was a cute little clique. Um, and then some stuff. Kenya is so stupid for saying like she keeps saying that little comment about Kim having a gender reassignment. Then now everybody going in on her for saying it because some people have really had gender reassignment. And since Kim had never had it done, keep in mind. You keep saying it like the, like she really had it done and it's possible that it's true. How many kids Kim done gave birth to? Stop saying that dumb shit. I'm so over the dumbness, the stupid stuff. Stop saying it. Because you know it wasn't true. You keep throwing it out there like it's true and it's possibility that it's true. And you know she done had all them kids out of her body. Most people that done had gender reassignment don't give birth, you dummy. Anyway... Moving on. Can you need to stop reading them slum them slum um tabloids and websites because look, even in our gossip group that we in, even our group members, shout out to the group. Hey y'all and our group creator, what's up, Gina? Anyway, even our members in our got in our in our gossip group where we talk about all the celebrity, the latest gossip, everything going on, even they don't post from certain sites because they know already that it's a lie. So Kenya, why you reading them? We know you know it's a lie. Why you I'm gonna tell you why you reading them. You reading them so you can have some low low down, dirty ball stuff to say to people to try to hurt them. It's why you reading them. But anyway, um Sheree had to do what Sheree do. That's why she said, I carry all the bones. She had to run the candy and dumb one and get her gossip in. Tell them what happened. And like dumb one said, you got to validate, validate what she said. Because the first thing um, Sheree said was about the part about um, Kim's son being hurt. And then um, saying that that's what Kenya said and what Candy say. Did you, I think Kenny said somebody, but did you really hear her say that? And then Sheree had, she, she, she couldn't lie because they done called on her lies already. So she had to say, well, no one really heard it. But if Kenny hadn't called on the day, would have been leading like the other one said, you got to validate what Sheree said because she get to telling them stories and you don't, you don't never know what it, how it's going to come out. So, um, I did like that Sheree said that, um, she really wasn't trying to be about no uh, drama in the group that she was going to try to be cordial with uh, Portia. But honey, when they went went somewhere, she wasn't cordial with Portia. Portia. She was so shady. Uh, it didn't even make no sense. But anyway, moving on. Let me see what else happened in the show. Uh, I'm like, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, I ain't going to lie. I'm not about to pass up no trip that's where everything about to go down on and I'm going to miss out of it and be like out of the loop. I'm going on the trip too. I want to keep up here all the drum and see it go down and I'm going to get to have me some free food and a free trip. I'm like Candy. I'm going. I'm about to see all this tea. I was disappointed that Kim didn't go on the trip, but I don't blame her for not going on the trip because you don't. You can't really, you don't know how production going to be encouraged somebody to bring drama and you don't know in her situation if you're going to be hemmed up or not. Because black people just as racist as white people. I'm going to say it. Yep, I'm saying it. Cause I, and I feel like I got a right to say it. My granddaddy was, my great, our, our great, great grandparents was me. So, hey, it is what it is. So, anyway. Um... Noelle, that's what I was going to say. I'm still disturbed that Noelle driving around like she 25 all over wherever. Like her mama just up talking about you moving to Charlotte, blah, blah, blah. Was you going to let her move down there with some boy? Like, I'm proud of Noelle for being more mature than her mama. Be like, I that she just not ready for that yet. Because her mama really don't care. Girl, Cynthia, the girl is not that grown yet. I got older girls, let me tell you. Let one of them come in here before they was 25. Talking about they finna go stay stay with a 21, not 25, before they was 21. Um, Coming because ain't either one of them 25 yet. But they grown. 
come up in here talking about uh they finna go stay with the boy before the age of 21. <laughs> Girl, you gonna get snatched so quick because I'm about to grab you by that little ponytail and whoop you around so I can look in your face and tell you, hell no. I don't care who watching this and don't like it. And if you offended by it, if you got a kid under 21 and you letting her run the street and do what she want to, then you need to re-examine your responsibilities because she need to be focusing on school or some kind of career. Yeah, I said it. Anyway, moving on. Um, What else was it? Greg, I'm still praying for Greg. He looks good. I'm glad to see him back. When, when you show Greg and I think of Greg, I think of... A protector like Croy is. That's how I see him. Just strong and ready to protect Nene and the kids. And I'm glad he's getting back to that. I don't I don't want him to be down and weak. I like seeing him just strong and outgoing and all of that. And um I'm glad he's back up and he's getting his pep back in his step. Um, and my condolences do go to Kim and her family for the loss of her grandmother. I'm going to refer to her grandmother as her mother because to Kim, to Kenya, that's what she was, was a mother. And um, I hope she, uh, Kenya and her father, you know, I pray for them to have strength and healing and make it through this trying time because it's hard when you lose a loved one. Um, then Nene keeps saying, <laughs> Portia said, the door is closed. Portia didn't say it like that. She's like, the door is closed. Because you know she dingy. So she's just like, the door is closed. She didn't say it like, the door is closed. Like, <laughs> like she was angry and sad. Like she was big angry. She did not say it like that, Nene. She didn't. So... But, okay, so that whole situation, let me, we'll get to that in a minute. Because first, let me, let me, uh, talk about Marlo a little bit. I'm going to go back. I'm trying to keep up in line with how the show went. So, Marlo <laughs> came in Nene's house. That dog go, Marlo be looking at somebody's house from top the bottom. She gonna check out the value of your house. By the time she get to the last room, she can tell you the worth you got in your house. How much the mortgage is. The value of the house. The land and everything. And the value of your appliances. The clothes. You name it. Marlo gonna know by the time she get to the end of her tour. But I, I love Marlo. Um, And it's good to see her and Nene being friends again. Do y'all think her... um? This is going to watch what happens live. No, I don't know if that was the poll tonight. But do you think that Marlo, that Nene is just being friends with Marlo because she's jealous of Cynthia and Kenya's friendship? I ain't going to say that she's necessarily jealous of it, but I feel like she and Marlo, she's being friends with Marlo just so she can have another friend. I don't know if she wants to make Cynthia jealous because I don't think that's going to work. But I feel like she's, I think, because it, it did work, it did work before. But I think Nene's about to learn that Cynthia has changed. And it's, this is going to disturb Nene some because it's not going to work this time. Um, So that's going to be a new experience for Nene because it's not going to work this time. when she Because she has done this stuff in the past seasons. And it's not going to work. Because Cynthia ain't up her butt like that. Because Cynthia has... Seeing that she does that. She's tired of people saying that. And, you know, uh, they show at the end of the other show her getting upset because they talking about uh, Kenya. And I just feel like she feel like Kenya been through some things just while y'all talking about it. Which Kenya have been through some things. But at the same time, Kenya done said and did some last thing. But I feel like Cynthia looking at it like this, the girl hurting uh, cut us some slack like she just lost her grandmother and why can't y'all understand that she's really married and I think that's how she feels about it and but but Cynthia needs to understand that Kenya has lied so much nobody's gonna believe what she says it's not their their fault that She's cried wolf so much, like the little boy who cried wolf. It's not their fault that Kenya has paid people to be her boyfriend and cried wolf so many times. That's on Kenya. So you can't be upset when people 
don't believe everything that Kenya says because she's a liar. But anyway, um, at least Nene did say, well, you know, Cynthia takes up for Kenya and she, she has her bag and so, uh, I'm going to have Marlo there to have my back. At least she did admit that this time and she ain't really being petty. So, I feel like Nene, she always likes to go somewhere where she's not by herself. So, if something go down, she got somebody that's on her side. So, now that she doesn't have Porsche anymore, she doesn't have Cynthia anymore, she re-opened um, her friendship with Marlo so she can have a friend. So, honey, she repaired those burnt bridges, I'm going to tell you. And I think... Um, at the beginning of the show, she was going to repair things with Portia, and Portia was going to be her other friend, but that didn't go well because Portia was like, no, nope, no, that door is closed. So, hey, that's okay because I'm happy to see Marlo, and I'm going to be honest with you. At this point, I do think Marlo needs a peach because she's been on the show for how many seasons now, and she's on the show more and more each year, and I think she needs a... a Let's just give her at least a few slices where she may not be making no income like the other one, but you can throw a, a couple of pennies. The only one I don't think I don't want to see on there permanently is Sh Sh Shamia. I don't, something about her just don't sit right with me and I don't know what it is or whatever. And, um, I was talking about <laughs> Candy when they get to the, uh, airport for the trip, Candy being cordial. Honey, Candy threw that shade so hard, honey. That was not being cordial, Candy. I'm sorry. I'm still on that. Um, when she told me she was going to be cordial with Portia, I'm thinking she going to be, you know, walk up, speak, go on. They're going to be at the point where, you know, at least it can be, you're going to be like, pass me the pepper. Oh, here's the rose. But how Candy started it off, it wasn't even going to be at that level. Later on in the show, we do kind of see Candy get a little bit more, more, cordial but i don't blame candy for feeling the way she feels because you that's you trying to ruin somebody's life with the stuff they said but anyway i was disappointed that kim didn't go on the trip because that would have made for a really really good show if kim would have went on, on the trip um then they um then here go candy laughing when they're talking on the bus about the last person that they slept with um, uh, so see, here you go laughing when Portia answered now to make up your mind. You're not going to talk to her. You're going to talk to her. You want to laugh and say something when it benefits you. But any other time she was trying to be nice, you wanted to act shady. But I'm, I hope they filmed Candy talking to Don One because I'm going to need Candy to run back like she always do and tell Don One the tea so they can, they can spill who it is Portia Messing with, because I personally don't think Portia done with five months without sex, but I would love to hear the tea, because I know Candy and Don One got some, so they need to go on and spill it. Um, Sheree finally spilling the uh, beans about her own business. She normally out telling everybody else's business, all up in everybody else's business. This is the first time in all the seasons she's been on there that she's actually telling her business. She in there like, <laughs> I think you better call Tyrone. You better call Tyrone, Sheree, girl. He got Sheree over there feeling herself all confident. But anyway, um... What happened after that? They went on the trip. Um, they <laughs> they get to the place, so nobody don't know Marlo there yet. Nene goes to get Marlo. Nene gonna walk up in there and tell Marlo, "Okay, get dressed." Marlo's like, "I am dressed, y'all." Marlo up in there with her nightgown on, about to put her robe on and some old Playboy bunny ears with a uh veil over it. Marlo, where was you going? Y'all going to dinner, not the Playboy Mansion, girl. And then he said it's cold outside. You better put on you some doggone SpongeBob pants with some Air Force Ones and a um fuzzy fuzzy hoodie or something. You seen how Sheree was dressed? She left on her jogging suit and put on an old fur coat. Hmm. She on her line for a jacket. She said she wasn't about to be out there be sick down to her cooter. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> so, um, anyway, they go on to dinner. And Sheree just had to open up the conversation about, uh, you know, basically she's trying to repair the group. She won't, um, portion they need to make up or whatever. 
And um Nene gonna say that um Portia keeps saying Nene trying to get rid of her and then Nene said, you need to remember, I helped you stay here. And then they showed a clip of uh, her and Kenya when Kenya provoked her into that fight. Well, um, it is true. Nene went over there and, and they covered Portia Matha, made her shut up. And she did help her stay there. So this is the thing. What Nene says carries weight. Nene knows that. Now... She said Portia was lying. Technically, Portia really is lying. Nene did not call, call and say fire Portia. What happened was on Watch What Happened Lies. Now listen to this now because you need to be paying attention. Y'all seen the clip, but sometimes seeing it don't put everything in perspective like me saying it. So I'm going to say it to you. On Watch What Happens Live, callers call in, correct? Yes. Okay, so the caller had them to ask Nene, or Andy could have made up his own question because you know Andy is a shady lady. The question was to Nene about who would you get rid of. He, she said, Frick and Fraud. That's who she would get rid of. Portia keeps saying that Nene tried to get her fired, that Nene called and tried to get her fired. And and Nene is correct. Portia is lying. Nene ain't called nobody and tried to get her fired. But I'm going to say this. Nene said that that carries weight. That has weight on it because pr the production is there. They are listening and they heard what she said and they value her opinion because Nene is a vet. She made the show. She was the most popular. So that's why Portia is mad. But if Portia is going to be mad about her saying it, she needs to get the facts right. She did not call and say, um, fire Portia. If she did do it, Portia has to give us receipts because that's not what we seen. Portia has to come through with receipt with seats, and then she keeps saying rewind the clip. And when they rewind the clip, I'm telling y'all what we seen. Now I just broke all of this down, and I tweeted it, and I tagged both Portia and Nene in the tweet. Y'all can go see the tweet under all things. Now it's the only tweet that I tweeted tonight. So. Because to me, Portia is not getting it and nobody has just said it to her in that manner. So I said it. I said it in a tweet. Whether they read it or not, I do not know. But I dropped the tweet right here, what I tweeted to her, because it, I just told you what I said. Nene did not call and tell him to fire you. She gave her opinion on a question. She answered a question. Portia, you have to comprehend that. So you... You mad about her answer to the question. You have the right to be mad about that. But stop saying I'm mad because you told them to fire me. Because that's not what she said. And you are lying about that. So Nene has the right to be mad at you. Um, She had Nene so upset she done shook out her bun. But um, Marlo, MVP. You and Croy get the MVP awards for me tonight. Because Croy came out the woodworks for Kim and you are a friend of a friend because you took that piece of bun honey put that pin in that bun you took that piece of bun and swooped it around there you had Nene you you was back that Nene was in her argument that's what I'm saying that's a real friend you took that bun and you swept it like this and you swept it you swept it some more I need a pin and you swept it around you open that pin up and you stuck that pin in that bun, put that bun back up there. That's what a friend do, honey. Let you handle yours and keep you looking tight and fierce. Don't let your your um 360 frontal fall down wrong because she don't know what you had what you had up in there. If all your bundles was in your frontal or what your 360. Or, if it was the whole wig, she didn't know, but she had you looking good. She had that bun like the fifth. Marlo was here. She he, she took my bun and put that bun back up there like this for your girl. Had me looking good. So anyway, then she 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 was good when she seen 
Nene get for real mad. Like, like if she was really in her feelings mad, she she smooth slick slid up in there, sit between them. She had her look. And when that that conversation got dead, she put that veil down. She was like, huh, man? But she had lifted that veil up. She slid up in there. And she was sweet. She was like, she was like, Nene, we we not about to fight. But she had Nene. She, and she wasn't about to let Portia touch her. And she won't let Nene get in trouble. That's a friend. And for that, she deserves a peach. I'm going to say it. She deserves her a peach. But anyway... Um, like I said, um, when Nene said that at the time, when she, she said that Nene was right to be mad and think they, uh, Portia and Phaedra needed to be, um, fired because they were running around there like some fools. We all know it and we all seen it. They was running around there acting some hot tail fools. They was lying and carrying on. Y'all got my gum stuck on the table. I got put in the garbage. They was running around there acting a the fool, carrying on all of that stuff. And she had the right to feel how she feel. But poor, she's going to have to get over and move on. So anyway, that's all for this show. Click the little and, notification. Um, bring your friends and your family. Y'all all subscribe. And I thank you guys for watching. And I will see y'all in the next show.